This video has been sponsored by GradeUp, a platform that will help you enhance your competitive examination preparation. I personally use this platform while preparing for competitive examination and I'm going to talk about the new plans and schemes and courses that this platform is coming up and also the special huge discount that is coming up, especially for the viewers of Talk 4712. Now let us start with the topic of discussion today, three mistakes that I made while preparing for competitive examination and three current moves that I took during my preparation strategy of three years. Once I prepared while I was preparing along with college, the second time I prepared along with coaching institute and the third time I prepared along with job. All the experience that I've had so long, all the most important parts things that you absolutely cannot miss are concised over here. I've rigorously worked very hard for the past three days gathering the most important points that you absolutely cannot miss and should definitely keep in your mind while you're preparing because these six things can take your preparation from one direction to another. So let us begin. First one, looking at the answers. So let us say I give you one question. Now, this is a fighter jet, this is a commercial jet. This one, when passes over your head, creates a huge amount of irritating noise. And this one is better. What is the reason for that? Then there are two kinds of students. One who says that, Ashish, I don't know. Give me the answer. And the second one would be, Ashish, I'm going to find the answer. Come back to you tomorrow. Now, here's what I'm getting at. When you're solving, let us say, previous year questions, there's always going to be a solution. Let us say you're solving an example of a book and there's always going to be a solution down below. The person who goes and looks at the solution the moment that person is not able to solve the question is not going to grow as much. On the other hand, the person who goes over there and tries to find the answer on his own, that person is not only going to learn more in that process, but also, most importantly, is going to retain it for a longer duration. So this is what we do most of the time is that we get the previous year questions and behind the page there will be solutions there will be the answer given and what we do the moment we do not find the answer we go to the solution see okay oh this is not that difficult now i'm going to remember it but you're not going to remember it that long because you did not actually understand the reason why you did not understand is because all the things that are behind that which is the prerequisite for you to understand that you did not focus on that because it was all spoon fed to your mouth so that is something that we don't want don't look at the answer immediately this is something that i did back in 2015. that seems like a long time back but still that was my first attempt and i don't want you guys to repeat that here oh you're here here we go guys the second one but this one is going to be one thing that i did correctly that is listening to music while studying you are going to understand that in detail but before that you must be liking this new kind of videos that i'm making i'm taking you from one place to another place maybe you'll be thinking ashish give us a studio tour i will here's the deal though i want 3000 likes in this video within five days if i get that you get the studio tour you bet deal all right let's get to the second one which is going to be something that i want you to do listening to music and I'm not talking about listening to songs. No, that is irritating. I'm talking about listening to music, something which is not having vocals. If you have that, then what happens is that it acts like a soothing, motivating white noise, which is going to keep all the noises of people talking around you outside. So you might be studying in library. These days, all the libraries are closed, which means that you might be studying at home, which means that it must be noisy. In any place, most of the people have to cooperate with someone or the other, which will cause them to be in a noisy situation, which will be difficult for you to focus on your studies. So music does help. But instrumentals, my favorite were Hans Zimmer and Zach Hemsey. So go over there. Or your favorite might be someone else, but music and instrumentals definitely helps. And throughout my career, I've used that to keep the crap out of my head and focus on the studies. Let's move to the next one. Oh, how sure I am that a lot of you guys have already made this mistake and a lot of you guys are for sure going to make this mistake. And that is what we call noting down the questions of the test series. I've done it myself and I've done it for over a year. 
and to the point where I found out that I have noted down so many questions that I cannot revise it. So it is basically pointless. Now here's the mentality that causes that to happen. Oh, this is difficult. I want to keep it in my mind. What if this comes in my examination? So I should definitely note it down and I'm going to revise it multiple times so that it is there. But another mentality that causes that thing to happen is that you are thinking that I'm going to study it later. And now that is a very lazy attitude, which is very well justified because I'm working at the same time. But think about it when you're noting things down. Are you really using your brain that much? Because your brain is very safe now. It is thinking that I'm going to revise it later. And when that happens, that's when you did not actually study it that well. Matter of fact, if you would have focused that much that I'm going to focus into understanding this in a way that I'm never going to forget it right now, then it is going to be much more helpful. This kind of mentality is seen in the examination as well. Oh, this question is very much difficult and I kind of know the answer so I'm going to solve it but I'm going to revise it later and that is basically doubling the time that is invested in that question. So please don't do that. Test series question it serves only one purpose you solving questions in time and that is what you are supposed to do. After that it does not have that much value. So don't note down the questions of test series. Do give test series but don't note down the question. Hey, here's something interesting. I have a story for you guys. Wanna listen? Come closer. Oh, that's way too close. Okay. Back off, back off. Yes, that's perfect. All right, guys. So back when I was preparing for competitive examinations in 2018, one of my final attempts, I was there in BARC training school. One day, I was having this badminton game going on. I was playing badminton. Not, not like this one. I was way worse. Kind of like this. Oh no! So, after I lost a match, I sat down around the corner and one of my friends, let us call him as Vikas, he sat down and I said, Bro, I'm preparing for ISRO examination. I'm not really finding a lot of test series attached to it. What should I do? And he said, Hey, there's this app called GradeUp. You can go on their website and you can register for their test series. It is very, very effective, exactly on the same pattern of ISRO. There are other test series as well, like BARC. You can definitely go and register. And the next thing that I did was go over there, register for the test series, and I got rank one. Yeah! Surprisingly, that is good. But more importantly, the test series for these examinations was not available. I'm talking about the platform GradeUp, which a lot of you guys must have definitely heard of. It has been over there for a long time. And from that day onward, I never stopped using until all my competitive examination preparation was done. This platform has done a tremendous job for the student community who have been preparing for competitive examination. The questions that come over there on their platform, the quizzes that come over there, the test series that comes, a lot of them are free of cost. And now they are stepping into their courses kind of like online coaching and they're preparing batches who are preparing for engineering services for people who are preparing for gate examination for ISRO examination for BARC examination so that was a good news for me that they came to me and said that we want students to know about this we want them to recognize that Greta platform is also providing these courses and they said that Ashish your followers those who want to come on our platform we are going to give them a massive 55 percent discount i was shocked i've never had any sponsor who has given that huge amount of discount so yes you can go over there and check out their courses i'm not saying go and directly buy it but definitely there are a lot of free courses available go over there check it out and see if it suits for you because the teachers who are teaching over there are very very accomplished for example, Chandan Jha, who is also a former ISRO scientist. We have Rakesh Talreja, who is All India Rank 9 and has done MTech from IC Bangalore. A lot of IIT alumni and people who have qualified GATE and engineering services with good rank are teaching over there. Give it a shot. I'll list all the links to their free courses down in the description box. And if you choose to register for their courses, use the code work TORQ55 to get 55% discount and that also supports the channel if you use our discount code but you are free to first judge the platform i believe that gradeup is doing a great job it has been doing a great job for 
over six seven years and it has been over there for a while now i know that it is a very old platform very mature and very developed platform and that is why i was very happy when they came over here for a sponsorship so i'll put the link down in the description box check it out go over there and it will definitely be helpful now let us get into what are the other mistakes that you don't want to do and what are the things that you do want to do if you are preparing for competitive examination let's go a good thing that i did while preparing for competitive examination was that i used to talk to a lot of my seniors not any senior the seniors who have cracked competitive examination have qualified some examination, gotten some rank, is working in some PSU or some government job for which I'm preparing for. Now you can watch a dozen of YouTube video and including this one, none of them is going to give you a clear idea. Only a person who is talking to you personally will be able to help you. For example, in my personal telephonic consultancy calls also, I'm not promoting it, just saying there are a lot of things that I'm able to talk over there which I will not be able to talk in my YouTube videos because when it comes to this, I can't really take a lot of coaching institute names. Back in the days in 2018, I used to take a lot of names but now it's not possible. They are going legal and all that, it becomes a problem and a lot of students will be thinking that it is paid promotion just that this person is not showing it. I used to talk to a lot of seniors you can find people who have cracked examination these days they are so accessible man you can go on their facebook just drop a message and you are going to be able to talk not only me there will the people who have come on my podcast like anshuman god of gagan shivam people have been approaching them personally to get an idea of how things roll so you definitely need to find those people get in contact with those people and a lot of them actually do have time unlike me i'm not saying that i'm super busy but you do understand the crowd that i'm dealing with but these people get like maximum of 10 to 20 messages and they can definitely deal with it all i'm saying is that you should definitely keep on looking back when i was working in barc and isro people over there also used to get a lot of facebook message requests requests on linkedin please help me and they used to talk to those people because they can i also approached a lot of people while i was preparing and they can really talk to you because some of them just want to help. That's as simple as that. So you should definitely find those people and get a personal touch with those people so that you get a great idea of how it is actually going because a lot of propagandas tarnish the amount of information that is on YouTube. Most of the YouTube channels have their own agenda. Okay, I have to promote this, I have to promote that because of that you won't be actually getting the truth. I do my best as much as I can on Momentum Podcast to bring these people on and make them speak the truth. But still you having a personal contact with someone or the other definitely helps. In the initial time when I was just having 200, 500 subscribers, I also used to talk on personal calls to a lot of people. Like, 10 to 15 people that's as much as i could but at that time it was possible but all i'm saying is that there are thousands of people who have qualified this examination you can find them all on social media definitely try to contact if you drop a message to 20 at least two will reply and one will definitely help you the most okay guys that's about it with this one you should definitely try to talk to seniors people who have qualified the examinations you're trying to prepare for as a fun advice which you are all going to enjoy a lot. Have some fun. That's it. Every now and then, have some fun. This is one of the mistakes that I made throughout two to three years of my preparation until I understood that I should not do it. That I continuously studied without any recreation, without any hanging out with friends. And this examination, it is not that geek who is going to succeed in this examination, who is having a closed mind and is only focused towards studying. This examination really tests your skills in engineering and sciences and definitely because of that, the holistic approach of the whole syllabus being focused towards one examination forces you to not fix and mug up a particular part of your syllabus and go and execute it next day in the semester examination just like we did in our colleges. Contrary to that, what you have to do is have an idea of how this whole science or engineering works and you will have to prove yourself on that day of examination. So it requires open mind, it requires a fresh mind, it requires you to really understand things and that won't happen if you're sitting in a room throughout the day studying and turning pages. So every now and then you have to go for recreation 
have some fun this is what i have discussed in the cheat days video but don't overdo it after one to two weeks just blow some steam that's going to help you a lot but don't do that six months one year continuously i'm sitting in my room that is bad for your mental health that is also bad for your final performance in the competitive examination so keep that in mind all right now this is something that i'm very proud of that i utilized every last second while preparing for competitive examination this is the last but certainly not the least i'm hoping that you are taking notes and keeping all these six points in your mind you are going to proceed with your competitive examination see keeping the fifth point in your mind that yes every now and then recreation is going to help you ease out and it is also going to help you utilize your time in a better manner but other than that you should not be wasting time so having talks with your friends and every now and then chit chatting for 15 20 minutes or even half an hour with your friends is good for your mental health it is going to help you understand that there are other people also doing different things in their life but at the same time spending hours and hours doing that talking over phone for hours going through a particular app for hours it is only going to hurt you it is not only going to hurt you with the wastage of time but also it's going to demotivate you because you know deep down that you have wasted a huge amount of time which you could have used towards your goal and now that you have not done you have a guilt and that is again going to waste further time and soon you understand that it is a downward spiral you don't really want that so utilize every last second every time your brain should be thinking what i'm doing right now is going to help me reach my goal or not and then you should take your decisions by the way i've made a full detailed video on utilize every second you should definitely check it out other than that those are the six points definitely keep them in your mind and the bet remains the same 3000 likes in five days and you get a studio tour so that's about it guys please take these mistakes very seriously you are naturally prone to make these mistakes while you're preparing for examination and please take these other three suggestions very seriously if you use them your preparation will definitely bump up a level special thanks to grader for sponsoring this video it is a great platform i'll put the link all the links down in the description box go over there check it out that's about it guys we'll meet again talk 4712 is a channel on careers and a lot of times we talk about competitive examinations a lot of my tips are not only applicable for gate examination ese bark and isro but all the competitive examination in general that is why we have a huge crowd of people preparing for neat itj law examinations there are a lot of people from different fields even people from bank pure will be over here so if you're new on this platform definitely consider subscribing because you are going to get a lot of knowledge being over here if you have already subscribed hit like because that definitely certainly helps us with growing this channel further to the next extent that's about it guys see you next time till then bye believe it or not i used to be better at drawing